Hey everybody. I hope you're doing well. Uh, this video is going to explain this week's assignment, which as you can see is about an animal called a manatee. We're going to be doing a puzzle where you're going to figure out the evolutionary relationships for a manatee. In case you don't know what a manatee is, this is a manatee. Uh, they're some kind, sometimes called sea cows because they kind of just hang out like this really slowly hanging out in the shallow waters, um, eating grasses and algaes off of rocks and off the bottom of the shallow part of the, uh, of the ocean um, along the coastlines, right? Um, they just hang out. Uh, they are so slow moving that I think you'll see right here that all those spots on the back, some of those spots are just algae growing on their backs because they move around so slowly. Um, they're very peaceful, as you can see. Uh, the people that made these videos got real up close with them. Um, they'll let you do that, but unfortunately that's kind of one of their downfalls is that they are very friendly and sociable, and they'll come up to just about any human and, and hang out with them, even the humans that are, don't have their best interests in at heart. Uh, so manatees are uh, on the endangered list because of human interference, habitat loss, people hit them with their boats, um, they uh, all over the world manatees are um, on the endangered species list, right? And so uh, just here again, I want you to get an idea of what it's like to be a manatee and what manatees are all about. Here's a different video, uh, just because it shows a few different things here. Um, just hanging out. This part is that's the, the baby uh, is nursing from the mom right there. Um, the, uh, yeah, that's right, it's mammary glands are in its armpit. Uh, See so again, this person who took this video, uh, I hope this is like some scientist, I just got this from, from YouTube, I don't know who this person is, but uh, you're not generally uh, supposed to just go up and start touching them and playing with them because that just makes them more and more attracted to humans and then the humans get them in trouble, right? Um, this dude's eating, uh, they don't usually eat what looks like an apple, I don't know what that is. They don't usually eat fruits, it looks like there's lettuce there. People must have given them those. But the idea is that they are herbivores that mostly just eat grasses and stuff that they can graze off of the bottom of the shallow part of the coast, right? And so the puzzle is this. That manatee has to have come from somewhere. It had to evolve from somewhere. And where did it evolve from? That's what we wanna know. We wanna know this question at the top. Which living organism is most closely related to manatees? Another way to say it is which living organism has an ancestor that is the most recent, that's split off the most recent from there, right? It's got to fit somewhere on this big family tree of mammals, but where does it fit? Um, that's what you need to figure out. Right, and so there are a lot of options and, and normally if we were gonna do this in class, I would have asked you what you thought, but generally it comes down to four different species uh, that, that students are interested in. Um, whales, hippos, elephants, and seals. And so you are going to get a paper that looks like this, or a Google Doc that you'll fill out on Google Docs um, that has the basic information. It talks a little bit about what's going on right here. But the idea is, is that you want to use what you know about how evolution works and what you just learned about the evidence for evolution, right? The idea is that we can uh, compare organisms and look at their homologous or analogous structures um, to try to figure out who's related to who. Um, there are a bunch of different categories of um, evidence that you're gonna look at. Uh, we have behavior and diet, we have fossils, we have nails, that's right, nails. We have teats, which again are mammary glands, that's where the babies would drink from, and then we have skulls. Um, you would click on these links, like so, and this would take you to a fact sheet, a fact sheet that has facts about the manatee, and then about each of the other animals, right? In case you don't know things about seals and whales and hippos and, and stuff like that. Um, we have that, we have fossils again. So now on this one, it's gonna show you um, all these different fossils, uh, the manatee fossils of its ancestors. Here's ancestors of whales. Here's the ancestors of the hippos and the elephants and so forth, right? And you're gonna go through um, 
all these different categories, looking for evidence to support your claim about which one of those animals is the most closely related to a manatee. I did try to give you a little bit of help here where uh, in this first part where it says evidence gathering, um, there's all these different tables, graphic organizers, if you will, um, that you could write things down into. So like say you went to this behavior and diet and you found, oh, manatees are herbivores. And so you would write down uh, manatees, oops, that's all in caps, are herbivores. And then that would be your evidence. And then your reasoning would be like, well, so what if that's, that's I mean, that's only part of the thing. That's not what you would write. But right, remember reasoning is why that's important. Why is it the, the fact that a manatee is an herbivore? Uh, why does that matter? Um, that's the part, of course, over here on the reasoning where you would be using science. Now, in this particular section, uh, it says it right here, but this is like a note sheet section, right? This is just to keep track of everything. You don't have to write in complete sentences. And uh, you're probably going to have more than one piece of evidence for each section. And so one thing that I would do uh, would be to, again, like maybe I'll put again manatees. Uh, are herbivores, and then now I find something new and I wanna add something else. I could just hit enter and start typing, right? But then that's gonna mess up over here where if, if I start to type my reasonings on this part right here and then that might get um, offset or not lined up with the part on the left. And so one thing maybe that you would be useful that you could do is that you can make a new part of the data table by right clicking, or for you, if you have a Chromebook, I think it's a two finger click. Uh, and down here it says insert row below and you insert row below and here you can type your thing and then type your other thing uh, and start keeping track of it like so, right? And so uh, again, one of the big things here is that um, there's a lot of evidence. Some of it is important. Some of it is misleading. Uh, it's your job to figure out how it all fits together. And then down here at the end, you're going to write your claim, whatever animal you think it is. And then in paragraph form, you're going to give your evidence and reasoning, right? So you're going to convince me down here why the seal or whatever it is, is the most common ancestor. Um, Remember that evidence is just facts and reasoning is the science um, and the explanation of the facts. Um, and so uh, the claim is only one part of it. Uh, even if you get the wrong claim, if you have a lot of good statements in your evidence and reasoning, uh, you'll still get some points, right? So don't worry about that. Um, on the other side of that, I would have to say that theoretically you could just go and Google the answer to this and it would tell you what it is. But that's only one tiny point, maybe two points for this part. And then all the other points come from the evidence and reasoning. And it's unlikely that you're going to find a website that goes into all these different things, right? So your job is to um, play, to analyze the evidence and give reasoning. Um, of course, I'll be checking in throughout the um, time period, giving hints or uh, being a available for questions. Hit me up on email or on Google Hangouts if you have any questions, but otherwise, good luck with your puzzle of figuring out the most common, uh, most recent common ancestor to a manatee.